What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here. And today, for the first time in the history of the ZTC review, we're talking about corn nuts. Ryan, why don't you come in and get a shot of these? They out. just introduced a crunch mix that combine regular corn nuts with corn chips, corn sticks, and corn puffs. So I hope you love corn. <laughs> <laughs> but it comes in three different varieties. We've got Buffalo Ranch, Chili Lime, and Fiery Hot. All three varieties sound like they could be good, but as Ryan and I were discussing before we even started filming here, Corn Nuts is all about the texture. And we've got three things with a dialed down texture and one thing with a very amplified texture. It's gonna be really interesting to see how these things play out. Now that said, hopefully it plays out well because they were $4.59 each, which almost prevented me from buying them to even review here. And I gotta imagine will prevent you at home from spending $14 to try some new snacks. <laughs> but hey, you know, you gotta pay to play. If you wanna review everything, you gotta review everything. So let's get into the review itself. This is the Buffalo Ranch flavor of the Corn Nuts Crunch Mix. As you can see here, we got the corn chips, which really more look like a tortilla chip. You got the corn puffs, you got the corn sticks, and I guess most importantly, you've got the corn nuts. Mm. So Ryan, why don't you grab a little handful of that and we'll see if it's worth $4.59. <laughs> Not holding my breath. Oh boy, it's a messy snack, I'll tell you that. I'm sure you guys hear that crunch. So, here's what I like about them. You have the corn nuts crunch, but then you also have a lot of substance around it. Usually when I eat corn nuts, my main criticism is, I just never feel like it's a substantial enough snack. Basically, it's just a way to eat something incredibly crunchy, but it's not satisfying. Adding in the other three, it really didn't diminish the texture of the corn nuts because they're just so crunchy. But at the same time, it made it a more substantial snack that goes further, you know? And, um, and I like that. The Buffalo Ranch flavor is on point. It is just perfect. Um, Ryan, what did you think of them? You know, I was so focused on the texture that I forgot to even taste them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the Buffalo Ranch is great. Very tasty. Here is the chili lime variety mm. of the Corn Nuts Crunch Mix. I don't think, of all the, the pieces, which one is your least favorite? Probably the sticks. Yeah. I don't know why they would put them in there. I'm not a huge fan of the puff. That's part of what's making it so substantial though. I feel like the consequences of the puff, ooh, it's limey, mm -hmm. very limey. I'm trying to figure out if I like that or not, but I think I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what a mess. It's pretty good. I've definitely seen chili lime done better though. I feel like that would get exhaustive like the taste nice and that brings us to the third flavor this is the fiery hot mm. we've been talking about a lot of fiery hot products recently of course the 350 was uh takis 351 was the pepper puffs and now we've got fiery hot corn nuts crunch mix Mm. It's got a good, like, kind of vinegary taste. It's almost like a hot sauce flavor. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. It's it's spicy, but compared to the Flame and Hot Pepper Puffs, everything is not spicy. And we just ate them. <laughs> but it is, it's got a good kick. These things are just, everything is a disaster here. It's a mess. 
So the thing about the fiery hot flavor, Ryan, you just mentioned that the Buffalo Ranch might be a little bit spicier. I don't think that it's necessarily spicier, but it definitely has a a bigger flavor, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like this, it's just, it's got some heat to it, but it's a little flat. Like yes. it's got a little bit of vinegary taste to it at first, but as I continued eating it, it even kind of lost that a little bit. Yeah. Well, Let's get into the gimmick here. I think that the gimmick grade of corn nuts, getting out there, trying something different, uh, we're always here to celebrate that. I can't let the price affect it, even though I just keep getting back. When I My big takeaway from this is I'm always gonna remember these are $4.59, which is just a ludicrous price point. But for the gimmick, we'll give it a five out of 10. Right, Ryan? That sounds about right. Sure. It's a good, uh, it, it's it's a, a fairly decent packaging presentation. It's pretty nice. I love the blue on that buffalo. It does look, it really, it looks like a 90s product almost, you know? No, we'll bump it up to a six for, for good design work. Now for the capsule countdown, grading the taste of these, I think it's pretty clear what the third place is. And I'm gonna say it's chili lime. Uh, you're getting maybe a little bit too much lime flavor and barely any chili flavor and that's a that's a real problem in a chip you know uh so i give them a four and a half out of ten you know i the texture is going to be the same on all of them so i really can't add or subtract any points for that but um while i like the snacks as a whole this is definitely the uh i'd say the weakest performer now the fiery one the fiery hot flavor as they call it it's not good enough in terms of its heat to be good because it's hot. And it's not good enough in its flavor to be good because of its flavor. But both are fairly passable. So I give it a solid maybe five and a half out of 10. Really nothing worth spending $4.59 over, but probably something worth grabbing a bite of if uh, your buddy buys it and you film a review of it. <laughs> in that case. In that case, basically Ryan. Um, and the very clear cut winner, man, you want to talk about setting the bar high and then not meeting that expectation? I think that this Buffalo Ranch Crunch Mix Corn Nuts flavor is outstanding the balance of the buffalo and ranch is perfect it's spicy but not too spicy it's got that ranch flavor but not distractingly where you lose touch of the buffalo which you always risk when you do a buffalo ranch chip i i mean it's it's a nice substantial snack in that kind of uh that mix that mix uh forum <laughs> uh, yeah, we are and mix today. that mix presentation is uh is really i think doing it uh good service i'm gonna give it a nine out of ten yeah. i really think that these are an outstanding kind of snack cooler. good good job and i think kind of justified covering them in general because otherwise it's something that's different enough to cover but probably not interesting enough to take a deep dive into uh, but something that's definitely interesting enough to take a deep dive into is our product from the archives today. We'll be right back to show you what it looks like. And that brings us to our From the Archives feature today. And for the first time, we have a giant tin sign. Ryan, come take a look at this. It is the Miller Lite Ice 1994 Extreme Taste Ski Lodge tin beer sign it's a giant sign it's what probably about maybe three feet tall by a couple feet wide minimum ryan yeah. that seemed like a pretty good estimate give it a tap yeah that's like a sounds like a stop sign uh yeah. you know it is embossed Ooh. so you know it does kind of uh give you that uh kind of poked out kind of look to it you can tell it's winter in 1994. i mean this is beautiful between the color scheme the guy wearing those uh those sunglasses you know it looks like a uh it looks like a beer ad from 1994 and i i mean i just i love these aesthetics uh miller light ice always made great commercials i've posted several of them on the consumer time capsule youtube channel so please check those out as well but i uh, you know we needed something to wash down those salty uh corn nuts crunch mixes and 
What better way than Miller Lite Ice that's no longer available, right? <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Stay tuned next time for another edition of the CTC Review. What's it going to be? Who knows? <laughs> but until next time, of course, I'll miss you till I see you. And uh, I'd say cheers, but I got nothing to cheers to you with. So stay extreme. Cheers. <laughs>